you're watching this, you're probably here because the fishing system in Hypixel Skyblock is a little confusing. You might not fully know where to fish, what to fish, and what gear you should use to fish. That's perfect, because today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about fishing in Hypixel Skyblock. Before going into this video, I would like to quickly ask you guys to subscribe to our channel. We're trying to go for YouTube rank, and every sub means more than you realize. Over 90% of you guys come back to watch our videos and aren't subscribed, so if you aren't, please do. Without wasting any more time, let's move into the guide. We're going to assume if you're watching this video, you aren't starting from a fishing level of zero, but if you are, here's the basic rundown. Now in the hub, you should come over and talk to the fisherman. He's located over on the stock southeast of where you spawn. When you talk to him, he'll ask you to give him five clay, which if you're a regular profile, you can just buy from the bazaar. And once you have, he'll give you the prismarine rod, which will be the first rod you want to fish with. Once you have the prismarine rod, you're going to want to come over to the librarian and put as many enchants as you can onto that prismarine rod. The main ones you should be looking for are lore, angler, and frail. Another thing you need to get is a good weapon. Something as simple as an AOTD could easily work, but if not, there's also some extremely cheap options like the prismarine blade, specifically meant for killing fishing mobs. Finally, you should also go for some type of fishing armor. Every fishing set has their own requirement, but the best ones that have near no requirement would be both the angler set, which only costs 24 raw fish on the bazaar, so 700 coins, and you can just craft it like this. Or you can get the salmon set, which is just crafted with enchanted raw salmon, the same way that regular Minecraft armor is crafted. It does have a little bit of a higher requirement, which you need fishing 13 for, but it is better than the angler armor. The two places you should be fishing at are either in the park for the insane amount of squids that you get, or at the spider's den because the occasional rain will boost your fishing speed by an insane amount. But more realistically, you're going to want to just skip over this entire part of fishing with simple fishing minions. If you're super early into the game, this might be a little bit expensive, but it's worth it as you can progress in other parts of the game while these boost you through the early fishing tasks. Assuming you've now done a little fishing, you should upgrade your rod. Your first upgrade should be this rod called the Rod of Champions. This rod will 100% be better than your Prismarine Rod or whatever you were using before this, but what makes it amazing is how upgradable it is. From this Rod of Champions, its progression line leads you right to the Rod of Seas, otherwise known as the best water fishing rod in the game, except for the giant rod, but we don't talk about that. By now, you should also try to be putting every single fishing enchant on your rod. Most tier 6 fishing enchantments besides blessing and looting are dirt cheap and will give very minor buffs to your fishing experience. And also, even though it might cost a couple of coins, you should also make sure to enchant your rod with expertise. This enchant will buff both your fishing XP gain and sea creature chant as it levels up. I would also recommend that you use the pitching reforge on your rod. I say this as it gives both sea creature chance and fishing speed, whilst other reforges give a little bit more sea creature chance, but zero fishing speed. For pets, I would recommend staying with the squid pet. This pet is specifically here only for the fishing XP buff. Along with that, you should use a flying fish as the fishing speed gain over any other pet is insane. With both of these pets, you should set up an auto pet rule causing your fishing rod cast to summon your flying fish and your squid to summon when fishing XP is gained. As you slowly level up fishing, you can make a few upgrades. Some of these upgrades include leveling up your rod to the next variant, and you can see the line of progression in the lily pad collection. See, it starts here with the challenging rod, and you get the rod of champions, and after that, you get the rod of legends. And then the final upgrade is going to be the Rod of the Sea, which you can see by doing slash view recipe Rod of the Sea. And here it is right here. In this case, assuming you're around Fishing 18, you can now use a set of sponge armor, which will be upgraded later on. And hitting Fishing 20 will unlock you the Rod of Legends, which I just talked about. Now, there are a few constant things that I would always recommend to you while fishing. First, have your beacon and enrichments always set on Sea Creature Chance. This should be the stat that you're struggling the most with, and this will immensely increase how much you have. You should also make sure you always have your cakes active on for the extra 1% Sea Creature Chance. And if you don't know where to get those, you can just do slash visit cake underscore hub like that. Visit him and all of the cakes are right here for you to eat. And this will give you a ton of stats for two days, and you can refresh these whenever, so say you forget when you did them, you can just come over and click this cake again, and it'll refresh your 48 hours. With that too, you should also go for the Mush Glowy Tonic. This one hour potion gives you an extra 30 fishing speed for near zero cost. And finally, you should try to have the empty chum cap bucket down at all times. It gives you an extra four fishing speed, and the Agaramus also make a pretty decent amount of money. Hitting fishing 24, you can now upgrade your gear even more. First, you're going to want to grab a set of shark scale armor, which you can see here is pretty cheap, and you're going to want to reforge it preferably to submerged but if you somehow have enough secret to chance you can also use festive but do be aware that this does not give nearly as much secret to chance as submerged would and at this time you should also be upgrading your rod to the rod of the sea you should also try to get your hands on the least pronounceable item in the game which i'm not even going to attempt to say but i will spell it out here really quickly we're going to turn this into a pronunciation lesson because i'm interested too Ichthyic. Ichthyic. You're gonna want to get your hands on some Ichthyic equipment, apparently. There's an Ichthyic cloak, belt, and gloves, and they are the most basic tier of the Gill Splash progression line, which you can see right here. This is a little bit more expensive. Each one of these costs about 200 mil, 
but they're probably not here yet. So just get the cheapest ones. They're going to cost you maybe a million coins each. I'm not even sure. But you just want to grab those because, they, as you can see, they do give some pretty decent fishing speed buffs. Thankfully, we can soon move on to lava fishing, which I'm sure is what you're all here for. To push out your last few levels, I would always try your hardest to make the fishing events as they happen. Yeti fishing isn't too great for XP, but Spooky and the occasional fishing festivals do wonders for your skill level ups. But before we move there, let's do a few things to prepare ourselves. We're gonna need to come over to everybody's favorite NPC, Odger, and get the Silver Trophy Hunter. Even though we aren't fishing 45 for Jabba's yet, it's nice to unlock the bronze and silver armor while we can't catch any lava sea creatures. Because once you can, and you start catching those slugs, it's gonna make trophy fishing a lot harder than it needs to be. And once you unlock the Silver Trophy Hunter armor, it's going to be time to fully commit to the Crimson Isle. Now that you're finally fishing 27, you can move on to lava fishing in the Crimson Isles. Progression here is pretty short and sweet. Firstly, you're going to need any lava rod, and the first one's going to be the Magma Rod, with the preferred attributes of Fishing Speed and Double Hook. Now, do keep in mind that any attribute upgrades that you do here won't be as easy later on, because you need to combine rods of the same level. So you can combine two magma rods, but you can't combine a hellfire rod with a magma rod to increase the attribute level. So if you plan on going for level 10 attributes, then this is the perfect time to do so. You're also going to need to upgrade your armor by fishing up magma slugs, mugmas, lava flames, and tauruses. These will all unlock the lava secret armor, which is a secret set better than the shark arm. Now the Taurus is going to drop the Taurus helmet, the Lava Flames are going to drop the Flaming Chestplate, the Mugmas are going to drop the Mugma leggings, and the Slugs are going to drop the Slug Boots. You're going to want to use this armor all the way to Fishing 36. Now before Fishing 36, at level 30, you'll unlock the Inferno Rod, which is an upgraded variant of the Magma Rod. You can upgrade your Magma Rod into an Inferno Rod and keep all the stats that you've already put on it. But do keep in mind that whenever you do this, you won't be able to upgrade it with more Magma Rods. So if you want to level up your attributes, it's best that you keep it at Magma until you're ready to go to Inferno. And also, at Fishing 35, you will unlock the Hellfire Rod, which is the final variant of the Magma Rods. And this does cost a couple hundred million coins, but it is very worth it if you do intend on staying with Fishing long term. If you're only staying with Fishing until Fishing 50, I wouldn't recommend getting one and just sticking with the Inferno Rod because of the insane price difference between the two. At Fishing 36, you're going to want to craft the entire Thunder set. Most importantly, you're going to want to get the Thunder Necklace, which is actually the best in slot necklace for fishing. Now, you're going to want to stick with this Thunder Armor until you hit Fishing 45, and at that point, you'll have a choice between either sticking with the Thunder Armor to 50 or using the Magma Lord. There is a pretty big difference between the two, but if you're struggling for money and fishing isn't an activity that you enjoy that much, I would probably just stick with the Thunder. But if you do think that you'll do more fishing past Fishing 50 and you have the money to spare, definitely invest in a set of Magma Lord because it is very very good compared to Thunder. And now for fun, let's just maximize this setup. So if you are curious what the best possible gear in the game is for fishing and what you want to aim towards, if you want to be the number one fisher on the server, here's what you're going to need. First, you're going to make sure you have the full gill splash equipment set like this. You're going to want this gill splash to be recommed and reforged to snowy. And then after that, you're also going to want a infernal rod with level 10 double hook and level 10 fishing speed attributes. It's going to be on the chomp reforged and with all tier six and seven enchants. On top of that, since you're going to be the number one fisher, you're going to need a giant's rod. You're going to do the same thing, flash five, put the music rune on it while you're at it, art of war, why not? And then also, we're going to need our armor to be as maxed as possible, which means we're going to need two sets of magma lord armor. One is going to have fishing experience and blazing fortune 10, as you can see, that is the sort of highest price. We can see this has blazing fortune and fishing experience is about 300 million coins per piece. And then you're also going to need another set with blazing fortune and magic find. All of these need, all of these attributes need to be level 10 and you really cannot get more max than this. So once you have this, uh, have fun getting a few billion fishing XP. And with that, this concludes the 2023 fishing guide. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and even learned a thing or two. I would also like to mention our correction system. If you notice anything wrong with this video, if we said something that's incorrect, we forgot something, make a comment. And at the top of the description, there will be a list of information that needs to be changed after this video came out. Uh, but that's about it. See ya.